our interactions with young people are obviously in a social education, like a PSE based classroom, yeah. which means you've got up to 30 kids. So as having generalized discussions and generalized kind of brainstorming questions and things is great, but you're not really getting down to it with every single kid. And how do you assess that? Had you asked a bunch of kids to brainstorm like round a bit of paper and there was four kids round a piece of paper, it's that fourth kid that sits and says nothing that we are actually now getting an interaction from. Okay. And that and that is to me very valuable. A quick way of measuring a child's whole well being. You know that with the app you will get 27 responses because there are 27 children answering it. When they retest it, so that's good track and monitor from the school as well as the people improving the next time. Yes, we would get a general view of how they as a student had done, but actually also as a cohort. And some of them will never want to darken your door ever because they they're kind of like scared of guidance for no actual reason other than oh no no it's all right I just won't go to guidance but so and everything in between so you you will see a number of your kids frequently and you will not see a number of your kids like for a good few weeks unless you make a, a, a specific conversation with them. They were questioning, is it confidential or is it not? Right. And I was like, this is confidential. And they just, they believed what yeah. the teacher was telling them. So they just answered it. I was able to say, nobody's snooping on this. This is actually to get a picture of how you are feeling about life in school in general. How do you ever say that a kid has succeeded at X level in the PSE, the Health and Wellbeing Outcomes, because really life is the test. I think as a, an interface in itself, it's actually, it's really good to have something in a format that the kids are so familiar with. And whether they choose to do that on their own device or they're doing it on a laptop basis, it's still a format that they are so used to using electronics to actually do different bits and pieces. So that in itself, it kind of makes it more fun for a lot of them. It's more engaging for the pupils. It's easier for the teacher to track. And when I log in, what I can see at a click of a button is way quicker than me having a folder of kids in front of me. We've maybe not asked them those questions before. It's something different as well. They've never answered questions like that before. Getting truthful answers. All right. Getting questions that kids understood. And explaining the language of like what nurture actually is. How we try and normalise the language so that young people do know what we're talking about if we're asking about yeah. somebody being nurtured is a perfect example. If you say to a kid, are you nurtured, they don't know what that word means. Whereas the app is asking them in more kind of everyday terminology and that means the young person knows. The fact that it's an individualised response and that we I actually like the fact that it's not us that's asking the questions because then that's not a scary teacher asking us a question about what we like and what we don't like and if we feel safe and if we feel this and if we feel that because they can be quite reticent at answering that. <laughs>